My name is Zach Orji, and I'd like to encourage you to watch quality Nollywood movies on Sony Reaching Nolly TV. My name is Frederick. My name is Yo, Yo, Edoche. Go and subscribe to Sony Richie Nolly TV. You bring this new experience, your kisses, the way you touch me, everything is beautiful. Let me ask you, who are you? I mean, where did you learn all this from? <laughs> well, everything I knew today about dead matters. I learned from you. Oh, please shut up and start <laughs> talking already. I'm not joking. Where did you learn this from? But I'm serious. I mean, every time I look at your beautiful body, so many things start to play in my head. Hmm. I mean, like right now, I just wish I could kiss him, <laughs> lick, lick you from head to toe, <laughs> and make you scream down the heavens. Because all I want is your happiness at the end. Thank you. Another beautiful thing is... is the impact. I mean, I love the impact of... of being in your arms. I could feel that muscle, the way you grab it, hold me. I mean, it's... it's out of this world. Yeah. You are one beautiful tree with amazing flowers. I love you, darling. <laughs> you sure you love me? Very sure. You sure you love me? <laughs> you sure you love the sound of <laughs> that? Telling your husband you're going out. Hey. Huh? Hello? <laughs> no, no. I thought we talked about this. Listen, I just only got to my house. What do you want me to pray about it? <sighs> you have a way with words, trust me. Alright, it's okay. I'm. I'm I'm talking to you. Where are you going? Why are you shouting? You're asking me where I'm going. I'm going to fly a helicopter. You think I would sit at home like you do every day, doing nothing with your life? Do I look idle to you? No, I am asking you. Do I look idle to you? Mr. Man, I work. I hustle. That is exactly what I am going to do. Send me these stupid questions. Do you realize who you're talking to? Do you realize who you're talking to? Ajulu Chuku Chuku Jeku. Please, please, keep quiet. What are you saying? Now you want to start reminding me of how you made your first 20 million at the age of 20. Eh? I should start clapping for you. Money you made how many years ago? See your mates. Look at what they are doing. No, look at the hands you use in making those money. They're still hanging on your shoulders and I'm very certain they are way stronger than it was then. But the brain you use in making the money, what is it? Did you throw it away? I am asking, did you? You're asking me, you're, you're telling me nonsense. Am I the one that changed your life? Am I the one that changed you from who you used to be? Go and walk, oh. 
go and make money. Do something with your life. I get time before no be proper. Bala, open the gates. I know what you're going through is not really easy. But just try to calm yourself down. Well, you see, since the last time we met, I'll be thinking. Thinking about what could be the solution to this your problem? Do you still have the contact of those white men that used to produce goods for you? Yes, I, I still have it. Now, less time I've been to China. Okay. What about those contacts? I mean, those that you used to sell your goods to. Do you still have their contacts? Yes, sure. I still have their contacts. I suggest you sell your land at Onicha. Use the money to build up yourself again. So, I mean, you expect me to, to sell that? The only land left for me? That's crazy. You see, I don't expect you to agree with me immediately. All I want you to do, go home, sleep over it. Every day, I see you grieving away days from your life. Think of selling that land or leave it and remain where you are. I'm sorry, but I, I don't have a choice but to call. I, I need some money. I don't have any time on me anymore. To lie to me it's right now. It's not what I think, it is what I heard. You just told the girl over the phone that you love her. Really? What? How, how the hell am I supposed to do that? Why would I do that? Ken, you don't have to lie to me. I heard you. You told the girl over the phone that you love. How can you be this ungrateful? What is wrong with you? Babe, it's not what you think. Can I have the phone? Can I have the phone? A phone I bought with my money? 
You told the girl that you love her under the phone and you stand here to tell me that it's not what I think? So you mean I cannot tell my mother that I love her anymore? Or maybe I cannot tell my sister I love her? Or I can tell my brother too? Why are you like this? I came here so you don't feel jealous of the way I communicate with my family. Yet, you are here accusing me of cheating on you. Darling, I was working before you met me. You asked me to leave the job, I left the job, and you brought me down to this place I know nothing about. And now you do not want me to talk to anybody? Not even my family? Gosh. I'm tired of all this. Sick and tired of all this. You should have just answered the call here. It got me suspicious when you picked up the phone and and left to take the call outside. Well, that's because you were sleeping here. I didn't want to disturb you. By the way, you still feel jealous if I tell my mom right before you that I love her. You know how to behave. Okay. I'm sorry. I promise I won't do it again. No, I don't trust you. I'm sure you do it. Ken, Very sure Ken, I just said I am sorry. Please, I won't do it again. I promise. Hmm? Are you sure about this? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> I think someone's lying. <laughs> Very well then, can I have my phone? Uh, who's caught? Uh, it's okay, it's um... So, um, you actually okay. want your phone? Okay. You think you can get the phone? You sure you want the phone? Come get the phone. Come get the phone! Oh, darling. <laughs> Baby, mm. you know I'm going to be lonely without you. And you know I wouldn't want to leave because I would be lonely as well. But I have to get back to business. Else my workers will loot my shop. Okay? Now I can't wait to see you again. <laughs> huh? I can't wait to see you too, but I have to go. Alright? Mm. So, I will call you when I'm done for the I have to get to the shop and um, don't forget to call me if you need anything. Of course I'll call you. I take care, darling. All right. Bye. Bye. to tell you that I'm sick and tired of Susan. I will not tolerate her anymore again. 
I will first report to her parents. After that, I will bundle her back to her parents' house. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, it's not like that. Hey, well, what did she do this time? She's not treating me like a trash. What nonsense is that? I got around. For Susan to, 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 to lay her hands on me? Hey! Mama, I will not take it. I will not take it. Hey! Enough of that nonsense. But um, Mama, it, it might be that you, you get... you. Press Mama, so please stop, 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 stop all the other Sam. That's not pressure, Mama. What is pressure? pressure? Mama, please stop telling me that. Please. If you want to marry her, by the time I return her to her parents' house, you cannot go and marry her. Your no, it's not like that. Channel this energy towards retrieving, regaining your business. Which energy? Which, which, which energy, Mama? I don't, I don't like what you're saying. You're trying to get in your, your, your business. Mama, you're not me and that girl, forget it. It's a lot of problem. Your daughter has told me to be a stranger in my own house. Please calm down. I, I don't I don't need to calm down. I don't need to calm down, Nai. The worst part of it now that she fights me. Your daughter fights me. Are you serious? My own daughter. Look at my face. Do I look as if I was attacked by arm robbers? Your daughter did this to me. She did all this to me. You mean my own daughter, woman Kemo, did this to you? Abumiri no no, wekuya. Abumiri no no. You can call her now. Pick pick a phone and call her. Um. This is unlike her. Hmm. Eh? The Susan that I raised never fought with anyone until she left this house. Eh? She now treats me like a baby. She talks to me anyhow. She treats me like a baby, like a kid. Ajilo. Ajilo Chu. Please. Um, I think we need to hear from her. You understand? Because the Susan I raised is a very quiet girl. I wonder what turned her into this fighting and abusing people, especially you. We are two good friends. What happened? Come on. We need to hear from her. Because the Suzanne I raised is a very quiet girl. She can't do this. Please, just take it easy until we hear from her. Alright? I'm sorry for what happened. Please. I'm sorry. Okay. Come and sit down. It's okay. I don't want to sit down. I don't want to sit down. Go, sit down. No, please. no, no, it's okay. We are not, man. We are not releasing. We are not quarreling. We are not fighting. It is not funny. It's not funny. Look at my face. Look at my face. Look at my face. Be out of your mind. I don't understand. Uh, oh, wait, Susan. <laughs> you called my brother to vindicate you? Why won't I? Eh? Oh, yes, why won't I? Since you lost your business, 
this woman here took up your responsibilities. She's the one that has been taking care of your family. Yet you have the mind, I mean, you have the cause to lay your hands on her. Come on, are you being fair? I thought as much. I knew the daughter I raised. Mama, mama, mama. Mama, you, you believe him? If I don't believe your own brother, who else will I believe? Ajelochu. <clears throat> I know you as a good person. I understand the fact that when a man is not as he expected to be, it always affects his mindset. But I tell you what, a man can fall seven times and get up and dust and move on. So you need to put yourself together and move on. Please. Beating your wife will not solve anything. The best you should do is to make better plans and move on with your life forward again. Like I said before, you need to put yourself together and move on. I don't want to hear this story from both of you. Please. Thank you. Right now. You need to calm down. You need to take things easy. I see if you care. <sighs> okay, fine. I need us to talk about this. It seems staying at home always makes you feel bad and bored. I would advise that you go with me to the shop. The main shop, the one on Bank Road. At least that will keep you out of the house and then you know you you know my going out and my coming in as well. When I suggested that to you, you declined. Ajilo, I didn't think you were serious about it, but now that I'm saying it, would you want it or not? been bored all by myself. Oh. Mm. <laughs> You're missing me, eh? Honestly, I have. <laughs> At the point that I wanted to come to your office, honestly. Uh, you wanted to come to my office? Yes, babes. To do what? <sighs> of course I was bored. And I was missing you as well. Oh. Mm. But on a serious note, darling, I need to get something doing. I mean, I can't sit all day all by myself here. I told you I need to get a shop. Yeah, I remember what I told you. I just don't want you to go into all this petty, petty business, selling biscuits, popcorn, all those small scale business. I want you to do something that is creative, something that is very, very substantial. Something that when you hit like this, money will come out once. My love, that is hmm? the same thing you said the last time I told you I needed five million to open something big. Please. It's okay. I don't want to stretch this anymore. I'll give you five million. No problem. 
I'm sorry, I think I uh, I got something in my ears. No, I I'll, didn't hear you. I'll give you five minutes. Shut up! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. I'll give you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what, what can I say? Okay, to show you how much I appreciate this, mm -hmm. I want to show you something upstairs. Why not come to the room so I can say thank you? I need to say thank you in the room. Uh -uh. Can we go in? <laughs> I need you to relax in bottles. No problem. So So who would take care of Junior? Um, I could get him. I need to take care of him. Do you know what was the meaning of that? Why were you embarrassing my customer like that? Can you, uh, you didn't hear me. But from the look of things, you know that she, I don't think she's ready to buy anything. See ya. Oh, you could see her pockets to know that she was... Le, I did not bring you here to embarrass my customers. You said you wanted to work. And that is the reason I brought you to this place. Can't you convince a customer? Eh? If you speak to every customer that walks in here to get something, who will come back here to buy something? You want to form my business? Biko, do do do, Ejim Chuku wear yogi. If you don't want to work, quietly go home and stay. Don't come and spoil business for me. Ah, you know, we discuss this now. You said you wanted to work and that is why I brought you here. The simple thing you would do is to convince a customer to buy something and leave. Not to shout at them. But we don't have indigo. She said that she's looking for indigo. Eh? And don't have anything. I said, looking for indigo. And you told her that we have digo. You know what digo? I know my jokey. What is digo? Digo is open. Hey, please, please, indigo. please. Let me hear something. Simple thing you would have told her to get another color. It is that simple. Common mathematics. That's why you failed. Hey, madam. This is not a good one. This is not happening. I reject this in Jesus' name, Father Lord. In fact, let me be the last man that will be in this condition. Yeah. Because of indigo. Like indigo. <laughs> 